Well, summer weather is here, and for some, that means boating season has begun. I'm just looking on Twitter here, Cynthia. Just saw your tweet. Great day to hit the water with Boat Smart. You're learning all about boat safety today. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be a fantastic day mm -hmm. weather-wise, although it's a little bit chilly right now. <laughs> oh, but we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> you will. Anyway, Cameron Taylor is to tell us a little bit more about getting ready for boating season, and you're with Boat Smart. Tell me about that organization. Uh, well, Boat Smart's a national safe boating organization, so we're talking to boaters about boating safety and getting ready for the long weekend and getting out there and boating with confidence. Exactly. Now, you've got a couple of little things here to show us. One thing that you need is this card right here, and what is it? That's right. That's a Pleasure Craft Operator card. So any operator of a powered boat requires that by law, regardless of your age, regardless of the size of the boat, regardless of the engine. You need that. If you're caught without it, it's a $250 fine. So you can obtain that from BoatSmart Canada. You can actually do it online on the BoatSmart website and even in time for this weekend. So if you're leaving it kind of late, go on to the BoatSmart website, take the course, take the exam, and uh, you'll be able to print a temporary slip when you pass. The great thing is when you go through that process, you're going to pick up the knowledge you need to boat safely. So that's going to help prepare you for the season. Exactly. We're going to go through some of the details this morning about you know what you need to do before you get into one of those. Yeah. I'm not a boater, so there's probably quite a lot to know, even though you may, like it's easy to get through the exam, but there's, there's a lot of things to think about. There are, there are a lot of things to think about, but you know, boating is an inherently safe activity. So if you have the knowledge and you make some common sense choices, and you get prepared before you go out, you'll have a great time on the water. You know, we're really looking forward to the long weekend. We've got this great mastercraft down here. We've got to get out there and get on the water. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, I mean, just going back to what you were saying about this uh, license, yeah. essentially, uh, you know, if you're hitting the, going rafting on the river and you want to check out, you know, what's going on in the boat, you don't have to worry about it because you can't have powered vehicles there anyway. That's right. So it's only for powered uh, watercraft. And, but again, it's still a great idea to go to the Boat Smart website, take a look at the material. There's a lot of great advice on there, whether you're you know, even floating down the river on an inner tube. Things like wearing a life jacket. Everybody should be doing it when they're on the water. For sure. Thanks so much. Okay, we're going to learn more about it. We're going to hop in the boat. We're going to take a spin. We're going to do all kinds of fun stuff. Awesome, <laughs> Cynthia. Thanks so much. Todd wants you to turn that boat on right now. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> My brother and I bought a boat two summers ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put and it, how did put, that go? Not good. Why? What happened? Not good. Didn't fit in the bathtub. Like, no, where? it was a full-size motorboat. Where did you have it? Oh, Ghost in Lake. Chestermere? Oh, Ghost Lake. Okay. We did take it. We took it to Ghost Lake once and Chestermere once, and I said, put it on Kijiji. Oh, got rid that of it. That was the end of that. Oh, you like the four-wheel things, I think. The, the boats for boating people, because Alberta is a big it's boat big province. Yeah. People are traveling all over, over the place. Yeah. It's a great hobby. You just need to know what you're doing. Oh, okay. That's the key. Good morning, everyone. It's 838, going up to a high of 27 degrees. Now, we've been talking to her all morning, Cynthia Roebuck. She's getting ready uh, for boat season. She's told us, she's teased us, that she's going to be riding that boat, driving the boat. Sailing the boat? What do you do? I don't even know, Cynthia. Sa it's a power boat, right? Sailing the boat. <laughs> Boating the I'm sail? I'm definitely not sailing the boat. <laughs> no, I've never been in one of these. So this is uh, really great. I'm getting kind of a crash course on, on what to do. So we've been talking with Cameron Taylor from Boat Smart about you got to have the right documentation. That's right. Which is your card, of your course. Your operator card. Operator card. you got to have all your safety gear. That's right. See? we got our safety gear on. Uh, but the other thing is, what happens if you get in trouble? Well, again, that's why it's a great idea to go through that Boat Smart course and get your operator card because you're going to learn what to do in case of emergency. So there's several important things you got to keep in, rem keep in mind. Mm -hmm. One is you've got you know, a flashlight, you've got a sound signaling device, so you need to know how to signal SOS, distress. Uh, so not only do you know how to need to know how to signal it, you need to know if somebody else is signaling for help, what that uh, signal means, and you can go and help them as well. Ah. You're actually required by law to help people as long as it doesn't put yourself at risk. Really? That's right. Well, yeah. that makes sense because, I mean, if you fall off, even in the summertime, the water is cold. That's right. So there is actually something called cold water shock that you want to uh, watch out for. So even in the heat of summer when it's nice and hot outside, if you jump in the water, if you fall in the water unexpectedly, let's say from a small open fishing boat, you fall in that water, you gasp, you gasp for air. Your body has a bit of a shock, yeah. and you can ingest water. If you don't have a life jacket on, you can go under. So definitely always wear a life jacket because unexpectedly you might fall in the water and you've for got sure. that insurance. And then, of course, there's also, a, not to make it seem like a Hollywood movie, but I mean, a storm can come, it can rain, and you're in an open boat. Lots of things can happen. That's right, and if you, you know, it's an interesting point that being prepared is one of the best ways to make sure that you, you avoid an emergency. So one of the things you'll learn in that BoatSmart course is 
checking the weather before you go out, checking all your safety equipment, making sure that all your passengers are prepared and they know what to do in case of emergency. That way, hopefully, you can avoid something, but if something does happen, you know what to do. Exactly. So you're going to show me how to drive the boat. That's right. <laughs> all right. What do I need to do? Uh, so it's just like, you know, the cockpit is just like a car, so you've got a steering wheel, you've got your uh, instrumentation here. For sure. And then you've got, like your gas pedal, that's your throttle control. So I'm actually just going to reverse us. Um, Away from the concrete part parts yeah. of the uh, of the water here. So we're gonna <laughs> get us get us back here, and then we'll get uh, get you to sit down and give it a try. Fair enough. And this is a beautiful. I mean, this is an expensive boat too. That's right. <laughs> so you're really. So I, I should jump in there and uh, and see if we can give it a try. So hop awesome. in there. And now before <laughs> you take off, you're just gonna look for other boat traffic. We're good. No boat. No boats. No boats. All right, and we're gonna go. All right, this is CTV Morning Live. Wish me luck. <laughs> and we're learning more about being safe on a boat. So there's a lot of things, uh, that, Cameron, that you need to think of. Uh, you're with Boat Smart, and the idea is getting people trained up and ready to go out on the water. That's right. So it's Boat Smart Awareness Week this week, and we're talking to boaters about being safe and getting ready for the first uh, weekend out there. So everybody's anxious to get on the water, but there's a couple of things you want to do before you head out. Again, sure. make sure you get your Pleasure Craft Operator card, and then you need all your safety equipment for your all boat. All these yeah. goodies, and like I recognize a few things. Obviously. We are wearing the coolest flotation devices here. That's right. Those are inflatable PFDs. <laughs> so nice and comfortable. They're not hot in the summer sun. They're pretty cool looking. So okay. if you go in the water, those are going to inflate, but otherwise they're compact. So these are great jackets. You do want to make sure that you have an approved PFD or life jacket for each person on board. Mm -hmm. Check the label to make sure it's approved. Got to make sure it's properly fitted as well. So, and like a seatbelt, they don't work unless you wear them. So. Yeah. Make sure you have it on when you're out in the boat. You can do a little boat smart session for the family at the start of the year and set the expectation that everybody get, that gets on the boat wears a life jacket. That's a great idea. Absolutely. Um, and then you've got all the safety equipment. So. For sure. Uh, you know, you wouldn't think that you need a fire extinguisher when you're on the water. Yeah. <laughs> but you need a fire extinguisher. You, so for certain <laughs> styles of boats, you do. So depending what size boat you have and what style of boat you have, you need certain safety equipment. So. Actually, Martin Motorsports for your birthday brought out this beautiful master craft. So uh, having a boat, yes, yeah. this also helps if you're going to go out on the water. <laughs> so this boat, you do need a fire extinguisher because it's got an inboard gas tank and inboard engine. You want to make sure that it's charged up and ready to go for the season. Okay, it might have lost uh, its effectiveness over the winter. Ooh. This is important too. So that's a that's a baler kit. So that can be used to expel water from your boat. And it's got a flashlight in there and a buoyant heaving line and a whistle. So that for a lot of smaller boats, that gets some of your equipment requirements covered off. Oh, great. Um, you definitely want to make sure your, your flashlight batteries are working. Enter. Mm -hmm. So check that. And again, for certain st sizes of boats, you would need a flare. Um, so what you want to do is go to, you can go to somewhere like Martin Motorsports, your local marine dealer, go to Canadian Tire, uh, get the right advice on what you need on your boat for safety equipment. And of course, you want to make sure that you actually know how to use it and all your passengers know how to use it before heading out in the water. For sure. So this is up, uh, this is on the boat. I mean, obviously, we've got a few other kinds of flotation devices, things in case somebody falls over or whatnot. And, uh, and okay, so there's lots of good things. We also need to have our Pleasure Craft Operator card. So we're going to continue to stay on, uh, on board here. <laughs> and maybe if I'm very lucky, I will get to drive the boat. I think so. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. This is CTV Morning Live. I didn't have a chance. I was chatting with Sandra from the Better Business Bureau. I want to see okay, you I'm drive that drive thing the boat. Okay, great. Drive the boat. Good Soon. Job. First, we're going to learn a little bit more about about the boat. Cameron Taylor is boat smart. So I mean, uh, you people, you're saying during the break, people think you can jump in a boat. It's a little lake. What kind of trouble could I possibly get into? <laughs> That's right. You know, you know. Hey, listen, boating's a great activity. It's a lot of fun. And it's pretty easy to just sort of hop on the boat and get out there and go. You know, you're gonna you're going to have to have a good time. But it is a motorized vehicle. So this Mastercraft, for instance, has a 600 horsepower engine in it. Really? So, yeah. So larger than most cars, right? So like. you want to make sure that you actually know what you're doing because you're operating a motorized vehicle. So first two tips leading into this long weekend: make sure that you're wearing a PFD or life jacket. That's an easy thing you can do, like wearing your seatbelt. And of course, don't drink in boats. So. It's, you, you wouldn't want to get into a car and you know have a beer. It would be you know it would look kind of ridiculous to do that. And yeah, people, and people don't. They think boat. I don't know. Maybe they just forget what they're doing for a second. Yeah. So again, it's motorized vehicle. 
And then, of course, you want to make sure that you have that knowledge to boat safely so, and to navigate safely. So instead of just getting out there and thinking, oh, I, as long as I stay away from other boats, I'll be fine, For sure. you actually want to know the navigation rules. Right. So, and I mean, you can see that we're just drifting about here a little bit, even though we've got the motor running. So, I mean, you got to always be aware of kind of what's around you, and you might not be able to shout to somebody else in another boat or whatever. You have to know signals and... Well, what you want to do is uh, make sure that you always keep a lookout by both sight and hearing for other boats. Uh, make sure you know the navigation rules, so who has the right of way, and you can learn that by taking the boat smart course. And then if you're towing a water skier, yes, you definitely want to make sure that you know the different hand signals. And when you're towing a water skier, make sure that you're only doing that during daylight hours. So those are a couple of the important tips of navigation to remember. For sure. Lots of good things you can learn by taking, uh, taking the Boat Smart course. And of course, you can get your Pleasure Craft Operator card. We're going to stick around here a little bit. I'm going to learn how to drive the boat when we come back.